Delicious chili con carne. Delicious food, amazing mood. Enjoy! Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Delicious chili con carne. So we're gonna start with our red beans. And these beans I soaked overnight with water. Remove that water and I'm adding enough clean water just to cover them. On top, we add the vegetables. Carrots, tomatoes, bell peppers, onion, garlic, and that cube that is frozen cilantro. We cover, cook for 20 minutes, and start with the meat. For the pound of beef, we add smoked paprika and chili cumin, salt and pepper, and we start mixing directly on the pan. If you want it spicier, you can go half and half the smoked paprika and the chili powder. So, we place our pan over medium-high heat, start breaking up a lot of those crumbs from the meat, add the tomatoes, press them out a little bit, and turn down the heat to medium-low. Cover it and simmer for 20 minutes. Then, we're ready. So by the time you finish here, your beans are done. And it's amazing. To the tomatoes, we're going to add smoked paprika, cumin, and chili again because we want them to absorb these spices too. Mix, and we're ready to go to our beans. Look at them, they look amazing, beautiful. So we open our beans and they're ready. All of those vegetables are still right there. We're going to pick them, place them in a bowl or in a container or a blender. And we're going to blend them with some of the liquid from the beans. If you want it a little bit thicker, you can also add some of the beans to this mixture and blend it. I'm using an immersion blender, but you can use a regular blender too and just Go ahead and place all of these delicious vegetables into your beans. It's going to be amazing. Now, after you've done this, you can actually decide if you want to put the immersion blender back in just to thicken it up a little bit more, just to kind of break some of those beans. Let's add all of that meat that we cooked with the tomatoes and the delicious spices and we're gonna cook them in the pot for 10 more minutes all together so those flavors blend perfectly and you have an amazing chili con carne. We're adding the salt now and a couple of tablespoons of coconut sugar because we cooked the beans without salt. Next, let it simmer for another 10 minutes and we are ready to serve. Sprinkle some parsley so it looks beautiful when we serve. Check out how beautiful it is. You can add the cheese you prefer. And we're adding some yogurt that I previously spiced with a little bit of spice. A pinch of salt and pepper. The rest of our beans, I'm going to teach you how to freeze them. Chili con carne is like pasta sauce. They taste even better after they're frozen and defrosted. So we freeze them in small thin containers and also in glass containers because I run out of containers when I make them. I usually make a big pot of beans. This way, I cook chili con carne and I have two months worth of chili con carne because I'm not gonna eat it every single day. Chef Pachi. Delicious food, amazing mood. Enjoy! Chef Pachi, 